uh, talking about putting pictures with words. This inspired me to, to turn this character into a story. Uh, this picture, this is my honeymoon in Gatlinburg, Tennessee. <laughs> and uh, we were at Stucky's, and this dang thing was in the parking lot. Um, and I took a picture and I said, who, who rides this? This is a real horse head and a real horse tail on the end of it. Um, I'm hoping at some point somebody's going to email whose bike that was. Uh, horrible honeymoon, by the way. Uh, <laughs> the brakes went out in the mountains. Uh, we went to a cheap hotel. The vibrating bed wouldn't work. Quite <laughs> <laughs> a horrible headache. But I got a cool picture of it. <laughs> uh, often I'll write my stories around what I want to paint. You know, undead folks on motorcycles. back into flesh and he's heading to church because he thinks he can get redemption so he's heading to Sunday Sunday school right now and uh, you'll have to read the story to hear what happens it doesn't go well this original painting is downstairs uh, at the Spectre booth so you might take a look shamelessly promoting my, my latest project. This is The Child's Feet. Uh, I just finished this one up. Uh, to date, I've done more picture-oriented stories, uh, but the writer side of me really wanted to do a, a book that was much more heavier on the prose, that was much more narrative-driven. Uh, so The Child's Feet. The Child's Feet is dealing with uh, the, the whole Peter Pan myth. And very similar to the, the, the toy book I did, I'm, I'm always fascinated with the, you know, uh, children's books, children's uh, folklore, you know, the, the reality of a lot of the early grim um, folk tales and stories where there were lessons in them. There were very nasty endings for children. And uh, we've passed 50 years here with the help of Disney and other such sources. We, we turned them sort of into candy when they're really much grimmer tales. So I had the opportunity to read the original Peter Pan, and I was, I was amazed at just what a dark story that really is, it, it, once you get beneath the prose a little bit. Um, one of the lies in there is Peter Pan talks about uh, uh, bringing the, the lost children to, to Neverland. And uh, he says, uh, it says, you know, when the children grow too old, he thins them out. And I was really thought, what does that mean? Does, does he kill them? Does he just, you know, what happens to those children? Uh, so I started playing with that theme. And in this particular case, uh, I thought it would be interesting to move it into modern times. Uh, I, I set up, uh, it, and it's a little bit of an alternative reality. So when I say Neverland, this is actually going to be a slightly different world. But in the world of Neverland, we have the Puritans that were coming to America, and they actually end up on Neverland. So they're trapped with all the fairy folk. And the fairy folk think the Puritans are, are demons, and the, uh, uh, the, the uh, sorry, the Puritans think the fairy folk are demons, so they're having a battle. In the meantime, Peter Pan, who uh, is off seducing children, is bringing them to the island and making them fight to the death for these people. So it's, it's very much taking the whole thing and uh, kind of looking at it from a, a grittier, realistic perspective. Uh, this is Peter and a, a virgin of, of Tiger Lily. Um, the island tends to twist the human characters. So these are some of the Puritans, or actually some of the sailors and, and warriors that are with the, the original colonists. Some lost boy type characters. Tattoo of one of my paintings on her back. I wasn't gratu gratuitously putting nudity up here. <laughs> so, uh, so that's the end of the show. And if you want
I was actually wondering, when you were doing your commercial work, when you were first starting off, uh, did you set a lot of time aside to do personal work also, or did that kind of uh, He asked me if I had a lot of time after doing my commercial work to do my own work. No, that's the hardest thing, you're trying to make a living and then find time to do what you really want to do, so it's a real challenge. Yeah.